Hi, my name is Jan Hendrik Ansink. I'm 35 years old. Uh, I was born in Bad Homburg, a very small village close to Frankfurt, Germany. Um, I studied business economics in Germany, Sweden, and the US. And I moved to Berlin um, 12 years ago because I, I really wanted to get into the uh, startup scene. And I'm running a company called Folders and I have a couple of um, angel investments here and support younger companies. A business angel are private individuals um, that invest into young companies. Um, well, first of all, to become a business angel, you have to have some, some capital at hand to invest it. And second of all, you have to find good ideas and primarily teams to invest in. So um, usually uh, most business angels, there used to be founders or management members and they have grown a network throughout the last um, couple of years and connected with other founders or employees that are willing to build up a new business and that gives them uh, opportunities to invest. How do you become an appreciated uh, business angel? Because there are many business angels out there and I think the best business angels like focus on the team and um, support founders with what, whatever they can and have to be successful. Well, finding business angels is, is I would say it's not too complicated. It's, it's more a question about finding the right business angels that really can help you out. Um, I would say right now, uh, 2021, there's a lot of uh, money in the market, so it's rather easy to get money. But um, when you are in an early stage as a company and you, don't, you haven't found the product market fit yet, which is very, very important, it's good to have the right people at hand, also advisors that you know, help you out um, building the product and preparing the whole organization, hiring the right people. Um, so there's a, a lot to be done and it's very helpful to have angels at hand that have experienced this situation a couple of times and give you good advice. I choose projects only by the people. So the most important thing for me is the team um, because the company, when it starts and it ends, it's gonna look completely different. The product is gonna look completely different, but what always stays the same is the team. And if you have a miserable product or a miserable market, um, a good team will always change that. Uh, if you have a, like a weaker team and you are in a good market, you won't succeed. So the most important thing for me is the team. The skills should be taught in business schools. Um, however, I think it's kind of difficult um, because it can't be taught by the textbooks. Um, you have to have, you have to experience like real situations. It's, it's, it's an art of making mistakes. Um, so you get better by making a lot of mistakes. Um, and you can only make mistakes by actual situations to, to learn it, right? So my advice for business schools would be that they try to make um, the whole content as, as um, related to actual cases as possible and connect students to the economy and businesses. I've been in the same situation and the, the first couple of years are, are quite difficult, especially if you um, come from university and you're, you're, um, you're a career starter and maybe you don't have a network yet to other founders, angels, um, venture capitalists. So you have to get things going and you have to start somewhere. And I think it's a good, a good opportunity to start with founders because they're usually um, quite open to talk to people that want to start a business. Try hard. You are going to succeed. It's just a question of how long it's going to take. And a personal advice is that if you want to become a founder or start a business, um, it can be very uh, like addicting, right? Uh, it's a lot of work and there's no one telling you when work ends and stops. It, you're gonna decide this yourself. So you're gonna get dragged into like a big rabbit hole. And uh, my advice is to have a very stable environment, a healthy environment and take care of your friends, family and connect to other founders because they are in a similar situation and they are the best to help you like from an emotional standpoint, but also from a practical standpoint.